Hi, my name is Paul and this is Carrie. Carrie is 55 years old and about four weeks ago uh, started to develop some significant arm pain. Um, and I'm not going to go through a complete evaluation, but I think that you should take a look at some of these very interesting findings that we had during our evaluation and kind of think a little bit in the background about uh, the severity of her, uh, of her issue. Um, so pain's going down the arm. Uh, first thing I noticed when I checked her reflexes is that she was quite hyperreflexive. So that's C7. We'll do C5 here. C6. She has she's hyperreflexive on the left side also. So then when I see that I always check the reflexes lower. And we she is very hyperreflexive here. Same thing in the Achilles. Um, so one needs to be concerned with either essential cord uh, compression or maybe some sort of a head injury at one point. So when we noticed that, uh, we did ask her and in 1994, I think it was, you had a motor vehicle accident and you were in a coma for how long? Two weeks. For two weeks. And so that hyperreflexia could be coming from that injury. Um, Testing her strength, she has weakness in the deltoids, weakness in the biceps, weakness in wrist extension, so C5, C6, weakness in the triceps, C7 also. Um, so we also checked her Hoffman's uh, test today, and I want you to relax that arm as much as you can. And if you take a look at the uh, thumb and forefinger right here, we're going to give her a little flick on the middle finger. You can see a small amount of... Uh, flexion here that occurs, right there, right there again. That's a sign of um, either central cord stenosis or um, an injury to her head at one point. Now, people don't typically uh, have that with foraminal stenosis where the nerve root comes out. So she had an MRI, it shows significant foraminal narrowing, severe narrowing at C5, C6, C4, C5, C5, C6, and C6, C7. All three levels are completely congested, causing this um, uh, nerve root compression and uh, basically uh, upper extremity pain. Uh, we've done some traction with her. It gives her immediate relief, and she seems to have an increase in strength in her arm. But uh, other than that, uh, she's probably going to have to have surgery to have some uh, uh, release to those uh, foramen. Thanks.